Yo, what's going on guys? TJ back with a little Rangers review as per the use. Today we're going to be talking about Pavel Buchnevich and his rookie season using the power of metrics to Evgeny Kuznetsov and Vladimir Tarasenko. We're going to be comparing uh, Pavel Buchnevich's rookie season in terms of points, goals, and assists per game to the likes of Kuznetsov and Tarasenko. And I'll tell you exactly why. Pavel Buchnevich's rookie season was not a failure despite injury and despite only averaging about a point every other game. So, here's how we're going to talk about it. First and foremost, let's take a look at Pavel Buchnevich in his first regular season in the NHL. Games played. He had 41 games played. He had 8 goals, 12 assists, and 20 points. His goals per game was .195, assists two, uh, point, uh, point .292. And points, 0.487. Uh, I did not round up. I want the numbers to the, the, third, de the third decimal place. Uh, his 82-game pace was 16 goals, 24 assists, and 40 points. All these numbers are rounded down. I'm using that only because it's harder to score than it is to not score, obviously. So that's how I'm doing these stats. We're not rounding up. We're rounding down. Uh, now, uh, Vladimir Tarasenko's rookie season. He played 38 games. He had 8 goals, 11 assists, and 19 points. So, his goals per game, 0. .210 goals per game. Assists, 0. .289. Points, 0. .5 per game. His 82-game pace was 17 goals, 23 assists, and 40 points. 40 points, the equivalent of Pavel Buknevich uh, for points. He had one less assist, but one more goal than Buknevich on an 82-game pace. So, compared to Vladimir Tarasenko, Buknevich's regular, uh, first NHL regular season was basically the same. The same amount of points, one less goal, one more assist for Buknevich. And now we're going to talk about Evgeny Kuznetsov. Now, Kuznetsov played before his first full regular season. I think he had like a 26-game season. I'm going to go off his 80-game, and I did not round up to 82 games. I just said his 80-game first NHL season, and this is what he did. In 80 games played, Evgeny Kuznetsov had 11 goals. He had 26 assists, and he had 37 points. That's in 80 games. Uh, now, Kuznetsov is, Kuznetsov's goals per game, 0.137, assists, 0.325, but points, 0.462. So now let's, let's gather all these and let's compare Pavel Buknevich to them. Now, for goals per game, remember, Buknevich had a 0.195, Tarasenko had a 0.21, Kuznetsov a 0.137. So Buknevich is on the higher end of goals per game average. Much higher than Kuznetsov and a little bit lower than Tarasenko. Um, now, for assists per game, Buknevich had 0.292. That's uh, a little bit higher than Tarasenko and a little bit lower than Kuznetsov. So, again, he's in between Kuznetsov and Tarasenko for the second time now. Now, for points per game, Buknevich was 0.487, Tarasenko 0.5, Kuznetsov 0.62. So, Buknevich, again, finds himself in the middle. So, he never led... Compared to these three players, he is not in the lead in any uh, points, goals, or assists per game. He's in the middle of all of them. So Tarasenko, let's let's face it, he's a pure goal scorer. Now, he can assist, but when you think of Vladimir Tarasenko, you think of the nice goals he scores. Evgeny Kuznetsov can score nice goals, but he's an assist guy, and that showed uh, this not this not this past season, the season prior to that, I believe he had like 50, 60 something assists. It was, he had a ridiculous season. But he's more of an assist guy, and it showed in .325 assists per game in his rookie season. So that's Pavel Buchnevich compared to two players in a very, very similar situation to, to him. On, the only thing that divides these two is that uh, Vladimir Tarasenko was a first-round pick, and I believe he... Let's, let's actually take a look at that. I believe he was 10th overall. No, uh, not 10th overall. He was taken a little bit later than that. That was the draft where uh, Dylan McElrath was taken 10th overall. Tarasenko might have been something like 23rd. Let's see. Tarasenko was 16th. I ah, see. I was way off. Uh, and so they're in the same situation. Actually, I'm pretty sure they played for the same team. Yeah, they both played for St. Petersburg. Yeah, they both played for Ska. Uh, they both came from the KHL to the NHL. And then we'll take a look, uh, take a look at Evgeny... Kuznetsov, who I believe was also a first-round pick, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Kuznetsov was taken 26th overall in the 2010 NHL draft. So the only difference between Buknevich, Kuznetsov, and Tarasenko is that Buknevich was a third-round pick. Tarasenko and uh, Kuznetsov were both first-round picks. And 
And that's that. Uh, yeah, he had 57 assists the year prior to this one, 40 this past season. So he's definitely um, definitely an assist guy. Tarasenko is the goal scorer uh, out of all of them. Now, what this is telling me about Buknevich is that he can fall in between. Buknevich can be a playmaker, but he can also score goals. So a perfect season for Pavel Buknevich going into the future, you know, when he does hit his peak, would be maybe 25 to 30 goals. And 30 to 40 assists, making him a 60 or 70 point guy when he peaks. Would I like him to be point per game 80 points? Yes, but let's let's be a little realistic and just try to play it for what it is. You don't want to overvaluate guys. That's when you be you know that's when you're uh, let down. So I, a perfect season for Buknevich in the future is 20, 25 to 30 goals, and 30 to 40 assists, and beyond that, depending if he uh, I mean if he grows past that. The thing with the Rangers is um, the the Rangers have never been an offensive dynamo. Uh, with Buknevich and VC and D'Angelo, maybe these guys can turn that around and make the Rangers a better offensive team. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers because I, I tell you, I cannot remember a Rangers team that just would score consistently since the, the Yager days. Even this past season, the Rangers started off the season great, but uh, I mean, they were scoring five goals a game for a while, and then uh, you couldn't keep up that pace. They fell to the face of the earth. In terms of goals, Brandon Peary cooled off, then he would turn invisible. Buknevich got hurt. I think Nash got hurt. Bunch of guys. It, it it was rough. It was rough. But yeah, so that's Buknevich compared to them. So that's yeah, that's basically what I have to say about that. So now what I want you guys to do, I want you guys to comment down below and let me let me know what you think about one my review, uh, two Buknevich's stats comparative to Tarasenko goes nuts off, and three. What do you think Buknevich will be in the future in terms of uh, a player? Will he be, obviously he's not going to be a bottom six forward, but do you think he's going to be a second liner, a first liner, or do you think that Pavel Buknevich could one day turn into an elite player like Vladimir Tarasenko and Evgeny Kuznetsov and not become a franchise player, because that's asking a lot, but become a top-notch goal scorer like Marion Gabrick was when he peaked with the Rangers. When he was scoring, he had his two 40-goal seasons, like, like that to the Rangers. Do you think that he could one day be that player for the New York Rangers? I certainly hope so. And as for you guys to decide, comment down below. And thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it because I certainly enjoyed making it. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.